Next one we looked at was the limit of a graph. And we talked about this actually with rational expressions. But what I'm going to deal with is talking about limits the left, right, and the general limit. So you guys will see there's this little minus here, this little plus, and this little 0, or, and just a regular 0, right? So this is what we call the left hand, the right hand, and the general limit. So to really kind of understand that, the first thing we're going to do is evaluate the function. You guys remember, you know, if I said f of x equals x squared plus 1, and then I said f of 0, basically you just plug 0 in for x and then find the output value, right? Yes? OK. And actually, um, I don't know, let's do, let me actually change this. 1, 2, 3. Let's do 4. Let's change this to f of x to the fourth, plus 3. Oh, let's do f of, ah, dang it, 4, yeah, plus 3. So would you guys agree with me? If I were to plug in 0 in there, I'd still get 3, right? I'm just making up a problem, like pretend this is the fourth power. OK? Um, so you guys can see that point, because this point has the input of 0 and the output of 3, right? And you guys would agree with me on that, correct? Yes? So f of 0, when you plug in 0, the output value you get, and again, you guys can just look at the graph. You didn't need to, I didn't need to have an equation. I was just doing this for review. But if you are just given a graph and I say, what's f of 0, you're basically just looking at the graph and saying, what is my output? And you could say 1, 2, 3. Okay. So that's evaluating a function. That is not talking about the limits. The limit says, what is the value that you are approaching? As you're getting really, really close, what value are you approaching? So this is the value of the function at 0. That's not what we're asking with limits. The limit from the left means from your left hand, as, you, as x gets really, really close to 0, as it gets really, really close to 0, what f of x value are you approaching? Okay, So follow my left hand, getting really, really close. Again, get closer, closer, closer. So as I get really, really close to 0, what f of x value am I approaching? 3. Three. What about from my right hand? Can I get really, really close to? 3. What about from my left and my right hand? Approaching? 3. OK, now obviously this is a continuous function, so it's nice and easy. And we'll do uh, discontinuous functions next. But I want you guys at least to have a general idea of everything. If you guys can take everything off your desk, um, I'll go ahead and pass you back your test.